Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkil Wiesma and today we're going to talk about uh, another orchid genre that I have that I grow in my greenhouse. And this time is, is obviously the Vendas or Vendasia types. And this is a sort of a two birds and one stone type of video because I do have a uh, sort of playlist about the Vendas where I did try them to grow them in uh, terracotta pots. Well, obviously you can see they are uh, in uh, glass faces. Well, actually they are back in glass faces because that um, growing method using terracotta pots and lava rock stones for my vendors didn't work. Uh, I couldn't keep up with the watering uh, still. And I had uh, dry top layers and wet uh, layers underneath in the pot. So um, yeah, I barely lost uh, some, uh, some vendors, especially the one here on the right. And um, so yeah, therefore, this is a little bit of update for that uh, part as well. The last one I will, uh, will do. But as you can see, before we go and have a close up on the, the vendors that I have, that I, uh, like I said, I have them in glass faces and I water them uh, when it's summer or very bright days. I water them for about 48 hours. And what I do is you can see it here. And you, you will get the algae and that was the reason why I tried terracotta pots, but the algae I need to deal with obviously, but uh, I will fill up the vases uh, with water, fertilized water, and I will uh, let that uh, sit there for uh, 48 hours. Um, like I said, when it's, when it's warm, nice, bright weather. In the winter, when it's colder, I leave the, the water in for about 24 hours, but nowadays, because it's now it's summer, it's uh, two days, something about two days. And they really uh, seem to uh, uh, responding to it uh, very well. So therefore I thought it's time to do an, uh, an update because I have two uh, blooming again. This one was trying to bloom even uh, with the terracotta pots, but that one and the rest of them didn't bloom for over a year because I was, uh, yeah, basically uh, they had a rough time. Let, uh, let me put it like this. So um, that's a, a bit of the setup. And if you want to know about the fertilize, uh, the amount, it's um, yeah, something between 200 up to 400 parts per million. It depends. Once again, if it's a dull day, I use about 200, 250 parts per million. But as soon as if, if there is more light, I will uh, add a little bit more fertilizer in because I think then they take a little bit more. So. Um, Let's start here on the left, and if I do have names for them, I will put them in the screen because I don't have name tags uh, on them, at least most of them. We will have a few with a name tag, but you can see here, for example, this is a beautiful orange-brown uh, Vanda, and it's starting uh, roots again, and it's looking fairly nice. This one has the uh, greenest <laughs> covered with algae, uh, algae uh, roots. But so far it doesn't mind it as much, but I don't like the look of it. It looks very dirty, but I keep cleaning them if I want to have a nice clear vision. So I don't do that. I just do it uh, on occasion. I will clean the, the faces. But then, uh, as you can imagine, like this big one, I need to take them out. And the chances that me breaking roots is very high. So therefore I keep, uh, like I said, I need to deal with algae. It's, it's just, uh, is, it is what it is. And we see a nice root starting here. And this one still doesn't bloom yet, but it has, I hope you can see it, some happy sap on it. So it's uh, starting to get happy again. New roots, so I think a flower spark will, uh, will follow. So next to it is this giant one. It's a very, very beautiful one. It has this beautiful keiki that I'm leaving on because I really like to have more of these beautiful spikes. This one is, is such a beauty. Yeah, I have two that are my favorites and this is one of them. It's, it's such a beauty. Beautiful yellow blooms and I noticed that it does keep the darker edge around them. Normally they started uh, within a day or three, four, they did com get completely a, uh, a more pale yellow, but I think it does get more light and therefore it, it, the color is a little bit, bit deeper, I should say, I think. But you can see it's, it, it's been in, uh, in bloom for a while already. I'm losing a uh, flower here, so I thought it 
and this needs an update. And also, I still have some th thrips here and there. I'm treating them for trips and it works, but they keep coming back. So I really need to keep an eye on them. And sometimes I miss them, so then you see these uh, type of marking over there. Let's go uh, over this side. This is the newest spike. And this one is a little bit lighter, but you can see quite some blooms and two beautiful massive spikes. So yeah, this one is, is obviously very happy to be back in the glass phase. And it is also working on a beautiful root system. I hope I can uh, give you an idea. Like this, having the uh, camera in a strange angle, but I think you can see that it is, uh, this one has the most roots, I think. And I'm just looking if I can let it see that the keiki is also making very thick roots. I believe this one down there, oops, that one you can see is coming from the keiki. You can see it's very thick, very thick root. And obviously this one right in the screen and a lot more. <laughs> so this one is uh, doing very, very well. So next to it, we have the other blooming one. This is, I think, the white angel, something white angel. The blooms are, this one is already uh, going over as well. And some trip damage as well on this one. But those are uh, white with a uh, light green color mixed in with that. It's not pure white, but it's some, some green, uh, green within those ones as well. This one is also working on a keiki. You can see it here. And this one, the keiki is a bit smaller, but the fan itself is also a bit smaller. The, the one we just saw is, is a bit bigger, generally speaking, I think. Uh, whoops, luckily this one is also making new roots. It doesn't have that big of a root system anymore. It had more roots, but I uh, messed it up with the uh, lava rock, sadly, but it's coming back. And this one really, really likes to bloom. I still have this old spike, and probably it will have um, of quite... Uh, Quite uh, shortly after this filming, we uh, probably will see another spike. I don't see it now, but this one is really likes to bloom. So one, when one is done, most of the times it's already starting another one. Then this one next to it was very sad to begin with. It's fairly new in my collection. I have it over a year now, I think. But uh, getting it to grow roots was very, very difficult. But finally, you can see there, uh, is a, a new root starting and also in the back of this one. Let me see. I hope you can see it. It's just above my finger there. That one is a very thick root. Finally. <laughs> and this one should have uh, beautiful orange uh, blooms. So I'm really looking forward to get this to bloom someday. But it's like I said, this one didn't get, get to my, um, yeah, into my collection with a very good root system to begin with. So it's not completely my fault. I didn't do it uh, justice also with uh, putting it in a terracotta pot. But I think uh, we uh, started to get somewhere again. Then this one, believe it or not, this one had last year or the year before probably, 10 keikis growing. I believe seven of them didn't make it because there were a few stuck in the, in the basket. Uh, when watering uh, this plant, I had a few covered underneath the water level, so that didn't help as well. But as, as you can see, there are still, yeah, I think about at least seven of them. Yeah, it looks amazing, I think. I cannot wait to get these keikis at a blooming size. Can you imagine that they come out of the vase it would be a, a big mess of Enda. <laughs> it's a beautiful one. It's, it's, uh, this one has beautiful uh, blooms as well. I'm not certain of the name. I have a name for it, but I'm, it was a no idea. And someone gave it the name to it, but, uh, for it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, anyhow a beautiful one. This one is uh, really uh, taking off again as well. It has a root there in the back. It's not long enough. It may look like it's long enough, but I need to put it over the edge and then it will flip out. So I leave it, but I try to get all those roots into the vases because it's easier and it's handier when watering. Then we have um, this one. This is the, the one that almost died. It's such a beauty. 
This one is the, the not a most favorite one. It's the Blue Magic. And I always will remember that name because the, the blooms, yeah, they are purple, but they are so close to blue and so beautiful. One of my first vendors, probably maybe my second vendor, uh, years and years ago I had a red one. And I think that one I lost and then I stopped growing orchids for, for about one year. Then I get, did get back into orchids and this one was the vendor, the first vendor to, that I bought. So very special. It's been, it has been through a lot, as you can see. It looks dehydrated, but I was waiting for new roots. And as you can see, we have new roots starting, finally. And this one wasn't a big root grower to begin with. So, uh, but I, uh, I'm happy to see uh, new branches, new roots. So yeah, hopefully it will get uh, more hydrated again. But it's hanging in there. And once it's happy, it's also like the white one. It, it blooms with a spike and when that is done, the other one is already on the, on the way. So that's uh, something to look forward to. Down here we have my most newest ones. Ones, yeah, there are more. <laughs> um, did I leave the tag on this one? Yes, we have the tag here. So really looking forward to this one to bloom as well. Um, this one does very good as well. It's really working on the roots. It also has some happy sap on it. And I don't think we see a beginning of a new spike. Let me just quickly check. No, not, not yet. I never had it one in bloom, but I hope I will. It looks uh, very healthy to me. But next to me is a uh, Vendacious type, the Vietnamica. Uh, I have the tag, Christ Christian Soniana Vietnamica. This one did arrive in a very good condition, but I messed it up. <laughs> but luckily you can see we do get new roots again, finally. So that's uh, looking very promising. And I think I might, I don't know if it will develop, where am I here? A uh, flower spike, let me zoom in. I think that's, uh, that's a flower spike, that would be the first one. And because it's growing roots again, so I think I can leave it on there. So that's something uh, to look forward to. And I actually remember that we didn't, not that long ago, we did a care collab on the, in the vendors, the big vendors. So I will link it. Maybe I already have it, but if you want to go, want to know more about the care that I'm giving them, you can uh, check that video as well. And then in the meantime, I was visi visiting the another one. That's this one, a new, uh, fairly new vendor for me. Or vendacious type, I should say. Whoops. <laughs> uh, but this one is the same story, but it's uh, also making roots. So I'm very happy. So far, they do all make roots. And we have a care clap on this one as well. Then, the, then Soniana. This is my smallest one ever, but I, it's so hard to buy here in, uh, in Europe. So I decided to uh, buy a seedling one. And luckily, this one is uh, starting out quite a nice root system again. Same story, did mess it up completely. <laughs> but it, looking, uh, it looks uh, healthy. Tiny, but healthy. But who cares, it's a Densoniana. And uh, I, I have it. I've, I think it's the yellow one. Someday, probably, we will see. <laughs> then next to it is the Tessalata Alba. Also a very young plant, but it's a bit bigger and it has a beautiful root system on the go. Same story, did mess it up, but luckily it's uh, coming back. And then next to it, we have this um, Renatera, Renatera Citrina, also Kerkelab orchid. And yeah, I think it will start to grow now a little bit more, but it was in the winter. It's not doing much. I don't have it that cold in the greenhouse, but uh, probably too cold for it. And uh, I see now that it has, oh, it's a bit dark. I'm sorry. Can I get it? Oh, it's the, it's in the evening, but it's a very nice day. So I'm sorry. I, uh, the backdrop is a little bit too uh, light for it, but it has some happy set there. 
So I think that's okay, but it's it's not doing much at the moment. But it's not looking very bad either, I think. <laughs> Growing root uh, leaves, I'm sorry. So I think it will uh, will be fine. So that's basically uh, this is my Vena corner because this is uh, facing southwest. So in the morning, yeah, the sun starts in the morning uh, right about here, but it's getting over there very rapidly. So I have some Cattleyas and Cielo Africanas. All my uh, highlights are warmer growing orchids and then of course the venas and those get uh, quite a bit of light from above and also from uh, from in the uh, in that side so that's beautiful and i have two vendacious types here as you can see let me grab the tag of one of them oh you barely can see it it's a wrinkle stylus gigantica peach and i have the dark red one next to it these I had in the same uh, right about here, but I had a feeling that those did get a little bit too much light. So that's why I put them over here. You can see this one is a little bit shriveled as well here. Leaves aren't that hard anymore. So I'm not sure what the problem is. This one is very dark, even though it's, it is a red one, of course, but I think that new leaf is very purple. So therefore I did change the setup a little bit. Yeah, this one is firmer than the other one, so but it says it's very dark there, so I'm not sure. But I'm trying it here now to see if they will uh, do better. So yeah, that's an update and an introduction to my uh, Venda uh, orchids. I hope you liked it and of course as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'm so happy i think well the last three that we watched i'm not sure about this one i'm not completely sure about those two well actually we see here i was trying to refer to root growth so but so far well there's still uh, two left that we don't know but the rest of them is all making new roots new leaves finally so i uh, did that experiment not sure it doesn't work for me. I'm not saying it doesn't work at all, but it doesn't work for me, for my lifestyle, for my climate. It just uh, isn't uh, enough for them. But luckily I didn't lose them. And even this one is uh, coming back to life. So uh, I'm happy, really happy. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, introduction to, uh, <laughs> to the Vendas. Like I said, if you have any questions, please let me, let me know. And for now, I really hope to see you at uh, one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>